McKenzie in the city of Charlottesville. Um, Jeff, do you think some of the older homes will be completely regutted to the studs or remodeled, lipstick on the pig, or potentially even demolished and built again now that you've said the lots are pretty much sold out in the neighborhood? Um, I think that's coming sooner rather than later because there are some incredible home sites um, where, l l let me go back, in Florida, oftentimes you would see a home site be 50% of the value of the entire purchase. In Charlottesville, our builders hate that mm -hmm. ratio. They like the home site to be like 20%. Sure. But on a regional basis, so what we would see in Glenmore sometimes is the builder would say, you've underbuilt that beautiful home oh, site. Of course. So um, to, to answer... What, Wild Bill McChesney. To, to, to answer Bill's question, I think there are home sites in Glenmore where you could do any of the above that he mentioned, including a potential scrape job. You would see that? Really? You I, think think, that? I think so. Wow. Wow. So are those, you're, you're saying those would be golf course lots, sunset view lots, or river view lots? Is that what we're talking for those? I think you could drive around the neighborhood and see a beautiful home site with a smallish home on it. And I think, uh, and then, that, then there are also, in any given community, there are also some homes that are in disrepair. Like you could walk by and say, what's going on? So I, I can speak that at Lake Monticello, and this is happening, and it's been happening for years, the waterfront homes that were built in the 70s, right? In the early 80s, you know, they were, it, was, it was a vacation community. It was not supposed to be a bedroom community when the original concept, they're being torn down, being built up, golf course lots are being torn, you know, the homes that were built 70, late 70s, early 80s, are going to do that but you guys hit on to something that is going to happen here because as the rubber band contracts right because that's what's going to happen here the micro markets matter right and and you're going to see that you're going to see downtown charlottesville glenmore some of these older subdivisions that have older homes they're 100 right they're going to tear them down somebody with cash is going to tear them down and build it up i've, I've seen it in other subdivisions. how do you value the tear down homes I think you got to go straight to the to, to the, the land, dirt. Yeah. yeah, to the land, and then you know, can you buy a? And it it sounds crazy to us because we we have a Charlottesville pricing mindset. Mm -hmm. So we say it's crazy to buy a seven hundred thousand dollar home and tear the home down and build a two million dollar home on top of that. But that's happening all across the country, and particularly the major metropolitan areas. You see it all the time. And our pricing is still incredibly affordable compared to anything in the Northeast, and that's without even talking about real estate taxes. So I, I can't... That's a great take, Jeff. I can't give specifics, right, because what we do for a living. But I had a phone call this weekend from somebody looking to do something with $3 million for a 1031 exchange, and the question was asked of me, I want to go ahead and buy some stuff in downtown Charlottesville because of the rezoning that's going to happen, the upzoning, yeah. for that very reason Jerry just said. And that's out there. That conversation is, is happening. But again, you know, there's not going to be another Glenmore, right? There's not going to be another Lake Monticello. There's not going to be... Uh, another old trail, right? I think old trail is a long way away from. Kevin Yancey this. just put on the feed in Waynesboro. You guys are talking Belmont. You're yeah. doing it right now in Belmont. That's, that's We're tearing down the houses, the cottages, the tiny ones, and building eight hundred, nine hundred thousand, one million dollar homes. To your, to his point. That's exactly right. So you're going to start seeing that because our jurisdictions are not allowing new development. Right. Right. And that's just going to put a you know the rubber band is going to contract. But it's still going to be a tight market within that, that rubber band for years, I think, years to come. And unfortunately, you know, it, it impacts the entry buyer, right? Because the upper end buyer is going to have a, a, a better position than the entry buyer. And that's where this generational separation, I think, you're going to